My name is Jan Minaj, and I would like to present you a background to my joint paper with Nguyen uh, Duy Tan um, uh, uh, with a human touch. Uh, the title of the paper is Counting Galois U4FP Extensions uh, Using Massive Product. Imagine a dreamland where a general pub, when the general public will be really interested and excited about mathematics and they would follow eagerly every development in the mathematical world. I am Leslie Halleck and I am in charge today of this Q&A session. Questions concerning Massey products in Galois cohomology may now begin. <laughs> Thank you. My name is Marina Palesti, and I represent the European Cohomological Digest. Our readers would like to ask Dr. Minach, what is the motivation behind Massey products, especially for the structure of absolute Galois groups? Can you please draw an intuitive picture for us? Thank you, Marina. This was an excellent question. Let P be a prime number. Let F be a field. We assume that zeta sub P is in the multiplicative subgroup of field where uh, z z zeta p is a primitive p out of unity and f sub is separable closure of f. The further, let g sub f be Galois group of separable closure of, uh, of over f, which is absolute Galois group. Gf is a profinite group and um, cohomology of this group, Gf is fp coefficient, is Galois cohomology, where fp uh, is trivial, I consider as a trivial coefficient. As you know, a huge problem which humanity faces today is the characterization of absolute Galois group above other profinite groups. By Eitchin Schreier COM, we know that each non trivial subgroup of absolute Galois group has already two. Uh, recently, spectacular uh, progress was made by Ross and Wojewodski, where they proved block Cato uh, co conjecture. Uh, this work uh, also used some other previous work of other mathematicians, including Merkoyev and Suslin. This uh, uh, work represents a wonderful progress of our understanding of Galois cohomology. Yet, despite the progress, uh, it looks to me like the picture of kind of knowledge of absolute Galois group is this one. Here is the huge absolute Galois group G of F, uh, looking a little bit like veil. And here we are, mathematicians, uh, uh, trying desperately to catch uh, this uh, fish with using some little nets uh, like, uh, like this one, but this is, uh, it looks very hard. So we need some other tool, and here is when n massive products come uh, into picture. Yasmin, we don't have much time left, so please make it short. Thank you. Hi, my name is Yasmin Amanovich. I'm from Canadian non-abelian class field theory. My readers would love to know, what is the Amasi conjecture and why is it important for understanding the absolute Galois group? Thank you, Yasmin. This is again a great question. Uh, consider element A sub 1, A sub 2 up to A sub n for a multiplicative group of F. And then by Kummer theory, you can associate by Kummer map, you can associate to them the elements A sub 1 up to A sub n uh, from a first cohomology group. And then uh, what happened is that this n massy product, uh, A1 up to An, is either defined or is not defined. Suppose it is defined. If it is defined, they can be, uh, it is still not just as a single valued function, but is a subset of H2, second cohomology group of GF with FP coefficients. In the case when n massive vanishing is defined and it contains zero, then we say that it vanishes. So, and here I am again, I am vanishing. So here is the group of unipotent matrices of the size n plus 1. So this, ma this means there are matrices of n plus 1 times n plus 1, upper triangularized with uh, element 1 on the diagonal. The, this uh, u, un plus 1 fp is a silo p subgroup of general linear group with coefficient with fp. And its importance for, up, for study of p extension cannot be overestimated. Uh, u n plus 1 by f p is simply quotient of u n f p divided by center, and the center is isomorphic to f p. 
in the case when there exists gamma bar, which is homomorphism uh, from absolute Galois group to u n plus one bar, like here, which satisfy this property, gamma bar is described on the near diagonal with this equation, and there exists a lift gamma of gamma bar, then what happened by Dwyer theorem, it happens that this a1 up to a n, uh, n massive product vanishes. If this happened, then the, the, we get a very interesting image of uh, uh, GF by gamma and a new Galois group which kind of automatically realizes over F. And if we can do it often or perhaps all the time, this is very exciting. In fact, uh, we stand, uh, we formulated n massive vanishing conjecture which says that for all fields F, in any natural number n larger or equal 3, whenever the massive product is defined, then it vanishes. This conjecture was also motivated by previous work of Dwyer, Hopkins, Wickelgrain, Effert, Minaj, Gao, Lieb, Minaj, and Smith. This conjecture is true when f is local field, or if n equal 3 for all fields f, in n equal 4 case, p equal 2, and f algebraic number fields, and um, uh, there is also some secret kind of work, which uh, I will not speak more. And, and there is, uh, uh, the, uh, you can see the details of uh, this work by Hopkins, looking at the paper of Hopkins, Wickelgain, Effert, Matzai, Minachtan, Gio, Topaz, Wittenberg. I consider it a very exciting and possibly really deep conjecture in Galois theory. It has a number of uh, uh, very interesting consequences uh, for uh, structure of maximal property quotient of absolute Galois groups. There is also a fascinating connection with proof of block conjecture, with Hodge theory, with rational homotopy, with uh, a representation of Galois groups in number theory. So for this, uh, all this reason, I found this conjecture very, very exciting and interesting. How does your paper with TAN, which will appear in the Journal of Number Theory, fit into all of this? Thank you, Leslie. These are very good questions. Uh, so, so it is very clear that the soil understanding of UNFP, Galois extension, is a very vital thing for, the, uh, for this project. In the case U3FP Galois extension is classical. In our paper, we make a next step coming from n equal 3 to n equal 4, and uh, we, we may, go, we may progress to such an extent that we could uh, count and, and we could have a fun of uh, counting and parameterizing these Galois extensions. Uh, in the case of Demushkin property group, we make an observation that the n massive vanishing uh, property, or in, uh, simply n massive defining property, is remarkably simple. This uh, observation influences subsequent work. Uh, which was done by uh, Guillot, Tan, Topaz, and Wittenberg, uh, where we were uh, able to um, formulate even stronger conjectures than n massive vanishing conjecture. In fact, in London, Ontario, this dreamland for mathematics and massive products has already come true. And we are even more lucky to have Massey's fine Indian cuisine here. To the vanishing of Massey products! To the vanishing, the vanishing of Massey, of Massey products! products.